Okay guys, here we are, we're back. Get some focus going over here. Right, we are on pin 39, 38, 37, 36, 35. Gray wire is connected to pin 35. Onto the positive on the scope. And the ground, onto the ground wire which provides power to the actual board. We've got the RG stem running. Connected both, connected into the USB port. We've got 850 RPM, 860 RPM actually. What I'm going to do is go into boost control. It's currently on. Set at board default in terms of the pin output and 30 hertz. Let's go and have a look and see what the parameters say. On oh, here, yeah. okay, we're not seeing 30 hertz. We're seeing a bunch of junk okay so let's get out of here let's press auto see if we can get a better no not happening all right so let's keep on hold on a second let's go into boost control let's go and switch off boost control which requires a change i'm going to unplug plug back in again Right, as we come back online, exactly the same thing sitting in on the scope. It doesn't seem to be a difference. So boost control doesn't seem to work at all. Not with the standard settings. Let's go back in there. Let's switch on. Burn, but let's go in this specific case, go and change to pin seven which is what is written inside the uh, code in utils.ino. I've unplugged the USB cable, plug it back in again. Let's get online. Right, now it seems to be spitting out something odd. Let's go and have a look and see what we can find. Radio. okay, so Pin 7. Now, let's go and have a look at the settings. Right, so we've got pin 7 and 30 hertz. Let's verify if we have, in fact, 30 hertz. We do not. Right. Um, we are most definitely picking up something very, very odd. We're on a 500 millivolt scale. 200 millivolt scale, 100 millivolt scale, 1 volt scale, that's what we're seeing at the moment. Let's go back down to a 500 millivolt. Right, so I've got an idea. Let's go and play around with the duty cycle. So, go to the boost table. That's where we are at the moment. Let's just highlight a couple of cells equals 50. Before, as I press enter, I'll tell you when. Now, Nothing has changed. Even if I click on burn, nothing seems to change. Okay, let's highlight the entire screen equals, let's say, 10. Before I press enter, let's get back to the scope. Enter, it doesn't seem to be changing anything. Click on burn. Nope, so it doesn't look like the boost control when you make settings let's just do this equal to let's say 60 press enter burn still the same signal we're not getting any difference in terms of the signal right, let's try something else okay if we go into the boost control setting and we select off burn close i'm going to unplug and plug back in the USB and it gives us the same output so at the moment boost control as you can see is off let's try TAC let's see what TACO does okay you can't switch this on and off all right um, let's try a different pin let's try pin 36 Right, pin 36 is giving us something. OK, 
Okay, we'll get back there now. Uh, pin 36 is actually a stepper two, idle two, for use of the three wire idle valve. Okay, so um, let's play around with the settings on boost control and see if it makes any difference whilst on pin 36. I'm going to leave it for default, burn, unplug the USB, plug USB back in again, we should come online. Right, as we come online, let's have a look at what the scope has to say. Okay, we're not getting anything different. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into the boost table. Equal to zero. Nothing changes. Okay, so let's go and switch boost off completely. Off. Okay, it requires a, a cycle, power cycle. Nothing's happened on the scope. Unplug USB, reset again. It'll come back online in a second. Same thing on the scope. So boost control doesn't work. Um, not on pin 35 or pin 36. So I don't know what other pin to try. Um, because 37 is most definitely working for idle and we verify that. 38 is working on VVT and that's also verified. Those two are injector outputs, the rest are ignition outputs. I'm thinking possibly um, one of these other low current outputs is possibly uh, boost. So I'll try that and uh, let you guys know.